Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether and you saw the last episode, you know the situation we're in. We're currently one point ahead of Napoli with one less game to play. We have two games left to play this season. We are desperately trying to win the first title of this save and that could be the league title. We are, though, having a very difficult game. We're playing Lazio away, and Lazio is having a pretty good season here. They are fighting for a spot in Europe. They're going to be extremely motivated. And they also have one of the best goal scorers of the league here in Immobile. So, uh, definitely won't be easy. But we're going to do everything we can. And that said, I have... A, made sure um not made sure but i have actually made another future signing another free transfer that will be joining us this summer and i'm going to show you show you after this game who it is but to give you some time to try to find out uh, i have one small clue he has made a few appearances for the spain international team that's the clue that you get and then you can think about it during this game see if you can manage to find out who it is before i show it that uh, at the end of the episode but yeah this is oh that's a kind of a interesting formation from from lazio they have a lot of lot of players here on their own side of the pitch probably going to be playing counter-attacking or maybe even possession based football going to be interesting maybe we need to uh, well we're going to be interesting to see how uh, that affect uh, our team because uh, What's a interesting formation? Oh my God, I'm nervous. And as we see the kickoff here, and uh, yeah, Lazio is a good team. They have a strong season, and uh, oh my God, that's really really dangerous. I thought we were just going to see the intro highlight, but they are actually creating something real here. But yeah, this is definitely a tough away game, but we desperately, desperately, we dream about three points, but you don't win a league by dreaming, you need win a league by performing. And uh, look at statistics here, they are getting first chances, but here's Forensi with a free kick, it's clear, Inder picks it up, going for a shot away in the middle, try to shoot, Colorado picks it up, trying again, oh my god, look, it's going to be a counter-attack, look, oh, I'm just going to stay quiet. Oh my god. That was so close. He hit the post, and I thought this highlight was for us. Because we were playing pretty good. It's another free kick, Kolarov. Kolarov! And Inde picks up the. Fr oh my god. It's not even going to be corner. Look at that. That was where the goalkeeper saved it. Brilliant try, but not good enough. And we can skip that replay. It's not that exciting. Um. So pretty close right now in chances. They dominating possession, like really dominating it. I, th I thought uh, it was an offside or something. I heard a whistle, and this so bad. Let's look at the replay. Yeah, it's clearly no offside. I'm not sure why I thought that. I just thought like I heard a whistle and I thought like uh, this is K, but it's not a K. It's a nightmare. And this highlight of the highlight, guys, now more than ever, you need to come through strong here. Very optimistic pass. Nobody but the under wins it. Under wins. Ah! It was really close. <laughs> Me screaming very weird there. But yeah, color over the corner. Come on, guys. The dream, the dream, the dream. El Sharaway. Back to color of. No, not color of. Pastore. Cristiante. And that's going to be a free kick. A pretty interesting situation. What's going to be the color of that card? Yellow one. For Lucas Leiva. And uh, now we have color over the free kick. Come on, guys. Make us believe that that wasn't as good as the last one. We are creating more chances than them, though. So we... Should, and they haven't changed up the... F no, they haven't changed up the formation. I was just... You? Yeah, th maybe. Did they, didn't they have two wise guys back in the beginning? I might be wrong. I might be mistaken. mistaken. And they are creating chances... And it's potentially near for Florence. They're going to keep him on for a little bit longer. Because uh, don't have many options on the bench. Here's El Sharaway. Breaks through for Inda. Quite a few plays into the box. He gets it inside. Yes, yeah, good, yeah, good business. But Pastore picks up the rebound. 
and this is six goal this season and the dream is alive just before half time perfect timing psychologically and yeah but Jekko he, he should have scored it the first try I feel like look at the chance they missed but luckily for us Pastore doesn't miss and it's equalized and uh, the dream's alive oh my god I'm so nervous so so nervous actually uh, we could uh, actually make a sub right now we don't tell them we can't be pleased with that one we need to get to the tactic screen and we can actually make a sub because i just uh i thought we couldn't make a sub because Karstrup have had an injury uh, but he's back from that injury so you see he's lacking match fitness but he is actually back so we can we can uh, bring him on because without him we wouldn't have many options for for that position and the second half, we have four to five minutes, and we need to win this one. We definitely do. Clock is ticking away. Not much going on here at the start of the second half. The roster picks up a yellow card. Nothing at all. I'm looking at the chances here. That, of course, last year uh, gets one when I say that. But other than that, not much going on at all. But here's the corner. And it's saved. It's cleared. I'm not going to go all out crazy attacking yet. I think it's too early. We're going to make some subs though. Just one, considering we were, fo we were forced to, to make an early one. But uh, we are going to get to the tactic screen as soon as this sub is done. So I want to bring him a little bit further up into the pitch like that. And then maybe like that-ish. They are focusing a little bit more on attack now. They have actually been creating more chances than us here in the second half. Clock is just ticking away. Not much going on. And it's a throw in for Lazio. Come on, lads. What's the defense there? It's just completely. I hope that was no side. Please tell me that was no side. Please tell me that was no side. It wasn't. And the nightmare. The nightmare is alive. Take a look at the replay here. Now this lad is standing outside, this lad is standing outside, but he is not. I know it bounces off one of our players, but that offside position would definitely affect the situation, so... And 10, 10 minutes, and something happens ASAP from the kickoff. Please, God, let it be for us. It's Lucas. The Echo picks it up. Go for Under. It's going to be a penalty. No? I thought it was going to be a penalty. Why did he show us that if it wasn't going to be a penalty? Give me my penalty, please. Pretty please. Oh my god, this is... Oh, what's my defense doing there? That's some jokey kind of defense. Corner for Lazio. Cleared. Still in Lazio position. With the belt, we're going to have another try to put into the box. And it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a card. What's going to be... No, no card. No card at all. Okay, we, we, need, to, we need to do something here. We have nothing to lose. We need to go... Crazy. A little bit of crazy. We will be rolling two strikers, we will be rolling wing backs, and uh, we will go a lot more direct passes. We're already using a really high tempo, and we're gonna have a team talk. And we want you guys to push forward. Come on, lads, please. Show some passion. The clock is just ticking away, ticking away, and they are getting a lot of chances, even though we are all are crazy attacking. That's the full time whistle. It's very frustrating, and we have officially lost. And uh, we're definitely going to tell the lads that we are very, very disappointed. Uh, this brings us to this situation where we have 81 points, Napoli has 80 points, and it's one round left to play in the league one single round and that's the next episode next episode we will definitely know if we win the league or not uh, but before we end this as i promised you i'm going to show you our new future transfer another free signing and uh, it is alberto moreno will join us and uh, maybe not the best player in the game but uh, he's not bad either, and we get him for free. 
and I actually managed to negotiate his wage. So it's actually going to be a lot lower uh, than it's currently making. So he will get to us. Uh, we will get him for free. Uh, he'll have a very low wage and uh, use him for a season. Then maybe considering selling him on currently is at the same level as Kolarov. And Kolarov, as you know, is really good, but he is also really old, 33 years old. So uh, and Santon has been injured a lot. So yeah, I think it's. Uh, I mean, you can't can't complain uh, complain about free. But that's it for this episode. And as always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And in the next episode, we're gonna know who wins the league.